everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would discuss with you my weight loss journey. The reason why I wanted to make this video is because I just think back to when, you know, I was really overweight and I would look for weight loss videos and weight loss advice and all these sorts of things and I never came across a video talking about mindset and positivity as well as obviously diet and exercise. We all know that diet and exercise will make you lose weight, but in my experience and what I've also researched, if your mindset is not in the right place, the weight loss is not going to happen or happen as dramatically as you want it to. I'm going to be explaining my story and my journey. This happened about a year and a bit ago. I lost 15 kilos in a very short period of time and, and I'll get into the reasons why and also how I did this. So throughout the video, I'm gonna be popping up little photos of what I looked like and the times that I'll be talking about and before and after pictures and all of that. Um, yeah, I will be showing you guys what I looked like because I know it's really annoying when you watch these videos and it's just like, just show me what you looked like before. <laughs> so I'll be showing you. Okay, so I'm gonna hop sort of back a bit to just when I was growing up and I was always a normal, average sort of sized child, I suppose. But I matured very quickly, so when I turned 12, I basically just grew into a woman very, very fast. Got boobs, hips, and everything just very quickly, and that made me have stretch marks, and I was very insecure about that, and because of the stretch marks, I was thinking, oh my god, am I fat? And I was insecure as soon as sort of I went through puberty about my body because I just grew really fast, and all my friends were still really small, and I couldn't understand why I looked a certain way compared to others. It wasn't until I got with my first serious boyfriend that I started gaining weight. Now, I find this is so common as well, like people in relationships, and especially your first relationship, I find people gain a lot of weight. And it's just because you're getting comfortable, you're eating out a lot, and you just, because you've got that person and you know, you don't feel like you need to impress anyone, you're not really focused on your body. And that's a really sort of negative way to be. You should look after yourself no matter what and no matter who you're with. But I did make the mistake when I was in this relationship of losing myself a lot and letting myself go. And in turn, I gained a lot of weight. So during my high school years, I was always around 70 kilos. So I am a five foot eight, I believe. And I've always been around like between like 70 and 75 kilos is usually like my healthy sort of spot. I know that might seem heavy for a lot of people. I am no means like a small petite girl. Like I am curvy. I do have shape to me and I am quite tall, like quite a big build. Like me being 70 kilos does look quite nice and natural on me and healthy. And it was like a year into being in this relationship, I just gained a lot of weight. Now looking back, I definitely gained this weight because I was in a very negative, toxic sort of place and mindset. I was not driven at all, I had no motivation. And I ended up gaining 50, about 15 kilos. The heaviest weight that I saw on the scale, I believe was around um, 86 kilos. Which for me, when I saw that, like I just, I couldn't believe that it had gotten that bad. I knew that I had gained weight, but when I saw that number on the scales, I was like, Wow, that's like 15 kilos is quite a big amount for, you know, someone that had always been around that 70 kilos and I would freak out if I gained like one or two kilos, let alone 15 kilos. And I hadn't weighed myself in a very long time and it was really confronting to see that weight on the scales. In no means am I trying to say that if you are that weight, if you're heavier than that weight, if you're you know, 20 kilos lighter than that weight, that your body in any way is wrong or not right, or you're overweight or you're underweight. This is just an absolute personal story. So please do not take anything that I'm saying, any of the numbers that I'm saying, and reflect it onto yourself and think, oh, well, if she feels weird being that weight, then obviously my weight is wrong. Please do not think that because that's not what I'm trying to say at all. Just for me, that weight was unhealthy for me and I couldn't even recognize myself in the mirror. And that's when I knew that it was wrong. So I'd always be like someone that would do extreme diets and then I'd stop and you know, calorie counting and all those things and it never worked. When I saw this number on the scales, I was like, wow, I really need to start doing some like drastic right now to change this weight. I started going to F45. If you don't know what F45 is, they're like set out classes, set out classes that are really high intensity. So they are meant to be really good for losing weight. 
I was working out a lot at this stage, like about like four or five times a week with these high intensity workouts. And I was also trying to eat better. I was a vegan at the time. When I first went vegan, I got to my lightest weight, which was 69 kilos. And I still remained vegan, like this whole relationship. I probably dabbled in like a little bit of dairy here and there. So I still gained this weight being vegan, which was also crazy because I had this mindset sort of that uh, if I'm vegan, then I don't need to worry about what I eat. As long as it's vegan, I'm not going to gain weight, which is completely not true. There is a lot of unhealthy vegan food out there and you can 100% gain weight if you're not eating the right vegan foods. Yeah, so I remember that I would get up and I wouldn't eat anything and I'd have a black coffee in the morning and I hated it and then I'd wait till lunchtime and once I got to that lunchtime, I would just eat what I wanted and I would eat too much and that's not the point of it. I still do intermittent fasting just cause I don't know, it's sort of just like a way of life for me now. It's not really something that I think about doing. It's just something that happens. And I basically eat two meals a day or I eat one meal a day. I either wait it out till dinner if I'm not feeling that hungry or I'll have lunch and dinner. Yeah, so I tried intermittent fasting and I just remember it was torture and I would just wait for like my lunch or my dinner and I would just go way too over the top and I was consuming too many calories. I also was in the mindset of, you know, I'm not losing weight, really negative on myself, hating my body and I just was not getting anywhere. Anyway, the point of the story is that I basically lost no weight during this time of doing this intensive exercise and trying my hardest to do, you know, somewhat of a diet to lose weight. Then it came a day which I thought was the most horrible day of my life and Josie, it was the best day of your life. And that is when this certain person broke up with me. It was a complete shock. I thought in the moment it was the end of the world, but really it was the start of my healthy, happy life. No shade to this person. And it really made me look at myself and think, wow, Josie, you just have yourself at the end of the day and you've been neglecting yourself for two and a half years and just focused on this person and you have not been looking after yourself at all. And I meant more so not looking after myself as in the fact of I never thought nice things about myself. I never gave myself credit for anything. And I was just really negative and down on life really now that I look back on it. I started doing a lot of research into manifestation, law of attraction. I started being more spiritual. I started meditating. And I know it sounds funny, but honestly, like doing things like looking at myself in the mirror and saying positive affirmations to myself and saying that I love myself and all of those sorts of things. If you're not a spiritual person and you're not someone that believes in manifestation and law of attraction, you probably will find this a bit like cringe what I'm saying here and you probably won't believe me, but that is fine. Choose to believe me or not. This is just my story and what I believe. Also just being out of that relationship and just focusing on myself a lot more, the weight just dropped off. It was seriously in like a month and a half, I got down to like 72 kilos and that's a lot of weight. That's like like 13 kilos or so. The lightest weight that I did see on the scales was 70 kilos, but I was always around like 71, 72. It happened really, really fast. My body just transformed from like this to this very, very quickly. Everyone around me was shocked. I was shocked, but I felt like myself again. Like I just felt just like this weight had been lifted off my shoulders, literally. <laughs> And I just felt amazing, like incredible. I was doing exercise, but I wasn't doing the amount of exercise that I was doing before. I was just doing light walks, like jogs here and there, little exercises in the backyard. Just like getting to know myself more and rebuilding myself just put me in a really good place where I did lose this weight. I don't want to say that it was all just mental state. Honestly, I can't remember like what I ate. I can't remember exactly what exercise I did. I remember I would go for like a daily walk and I would do things like that. And I remember I wasn't eating out as much, but I cannot remember a strict diet because it wasn't a strict diet. And it was what I can remember in that time. It was mostly just focusing on myself and loving myself. And that is what I believe majority of the weight came from. And I remember saying to people, 
people like when they would be like, how'd you lose all this weight? I'd be like, honestly, like I'm just loving myself. And they're like, yeah, honestly, like having your mindset in a positive place and it hasn't been there for a very long time can transform your body. So the point of this video is if you have tried everything under the sun to lose weight, and you're really down on yourself, you're really hating what you're looking like, or you're hating how unfit you are, or really just try focusing on yourself and the big picture of loving yourself no matter what. Obviously, when I first started saying that I love myself, I was still that 83 kilos or whatever I was. I was still overweight, but I was changing my mindset automatically because I had to. So looking in the mirror, saying positive things to yourself, meditating and, you know, manifesting your goals and what you want. So once I had lost all that weight, obviously I was feeling amazing. I could recognize myself in the mirror again. I had this new form of confidence that I had not had ever before, really. The weight stayed off for quite a while. When I met my new boyfriend, Julian, I guess I sort of had a little bit of a negative headspace going into it that, oh my God, in my last relationship, I gained a lot of weight. What if that happens in this relationship? And I did gain a little bit of weight at the start with Julian, nothing compared to what I gained beforehand but I did fluctuate now I'm back down to 72 kilos and that's just because Julian and I together got into the gym and just watched what we were eating a little bit more and we were able to get back down to our normal weights that we like to be at and that's where I am. I have still been doing my intermittent fasting but I am naughty, I have snacks, I have cheat days, I have big meals sometimes but I always sort of balance it out where if I know that I'm gonna be having like a massive dinner, I will try and just not eat until my dinner. Some people are gonna think that's unhealthy. I've done a lot of research into intermittent fasting and like one meal a day and things like that and it actually can be very, very beneficial for your body. That's what I like to do personally. You know, of course, I'm an advocate as well of having a healthy balanced diet and doing daily exercise. All those things are going to help you tremendously, but if your mindset is not there, then it's going to be more of a challenge. Like your mindset is crazy, like honestly think about it and think about when you go to the gym or when you have an evening all day and what you think of yourself when you look in the mirror, you literally stand there and you think, wow, I'm looking so good today. As soon as you have a bar of chocolate or have something naughty or you have a bad eating day, you look in the mirror and you go, shit. Louie, what are you doing? I shaved him, I shaved his hair because he had all like, because he had like knots and like, he was just dirty um, and I'm not too good at it. So he's looking a bit like a lamb, but, but just ignore him. Yeah, and like, I don't know if that's just me. I know a lot of people that feel that way as well. It's not healthy to think like that at all because obviously your body has not changed from that morning to that night if you've had a bad meal or whatever. To think that your mind can make you literally see yourself differently in the mirror after eating a meal, like that's just gone to your head thinking, okay, automatically that's made me gain weight or your mind can just do so many like crazy, crazy things to you. So if you have good control of your mindset and you have good positive thinking and you put things in place to, you know, change your mind in a positive way is beneficial and it can help you in lots and lots of ways. I feel like this video has been sort of rambly and like it's not a normal weight loss video. I'm not telling you all these crazy steps and techniques and I think it's just because everybody already knows those things. We already know that if you eat within a calorie deficit you will lose weight. We already know that if you do exercise it's going to help your body lose weight. We know those things. This is a video for people that want sort of a different alternative or want to incorporate something more than just diet and exercise to help their weight loss or to help becoming a happy and healthy person. This is what this video is about. I hope you guys have found it somewhat informative and beneficial to you. I am no means like at the end of my weight loss journey where I can get it to. I would really love to like tone up a lot more and I'm happy with what I look like. I have confidence. I feel beautiful when I'm wearing my clothes and that is the main thing to me and that should be the main thing to everyone as long as you feel happy in your own skin and healthy and feel confident they are absolutely the main important things just thinking positive things about your body where usually you'd be like oh i don't like that 
that's a bit, you know, chubby or, oh, my boobs are saggy or, oh, you know, my stretch marks, whatever it is, turn it into a positive and be like, you know what, like, I actually like that. Because the more that you keep telling yourself that you like that, you will like that, and that thing might even change. That is the end of this video. I, again, hope you found it interesting and somewhat helpful. This is my weight loss journey, completely my personal story. And if you guys have any questions or anything, please let me know in the comment section. And if you want to message me directly as well, if you're struggling with your weight or you want some help in any sort of way, you can message me on my Instagram as well. I'll leave that down below and I'll probably have it up on the screen somewhere. Yeah, feel free to message me about any concern or any questions that you have I would love to help you out because I know losing weight and weight struggles are really really challenging and yeah if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe it really helps out my channel and I'll see you all next time bye